everybody. Last week, I picked up a collection of 140,000 cards for just $160. In this video, we're going to go through that collection, at least part of it. And we're going to show you basically all that that collection entails. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Now, let's check out the video. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Uh, that's a lot of big, big boxes. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, these, so okay. Hopefully we can make yeah, it. I got. I'll have to put another seat down. But I was thinking of filming this on these, and then um, stuck into the boxes, and then giving you a shout out for your YouTube channel and stuff. Is yeah, I good? mean they're, they're all common, so I mean. Yeah, I know. Like I. There are actually there's think, a lot of them are like ninety percent of them are sorted by player and they're in team bags, so it probably oh, helps you out. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the guy bought them off, so that's how they were. So okay. Um, whatever. Um, the YouTube is um, Brickus Breaks. Okay. The is J Brickus Twenty Four. J Brickus Twenty Four. Basically, a uh, long time top seller, power rate, um, power seller, top rated on hundred percent of that. Oh yeah, they are all in team oh, bags. Yeah, Tim Wallace. It's insane. Greg Gagney. <laughs> And you know what? Someone had they time were, to they do that. alphabetic order. I don't know. They're they're close to that show. I know. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty. I'd fun. say eighty to ninety percent of them are like that. And I actually, what sucks is for the football, hockey, and the other stuff. Um, they end up at that Fairfield or whatever. Uh huh. So you can't. They can't be in the team bags. I have to freaking pull them all. Pull them all. That and, sucks. Uh, so I've been working on. And my uh, my other sport guys. This is the last batch is buying the local guys. So I gotta. I'm gonna be going up to Detroit uh, if I build up another stack. So I'm yeah. on baseball stuff. But, all, all right. right. Let well, me put my seats down and we'll start loading them okay. up. I guess we'll just start building it up. Um, I'll try to take the bigger stuff and put them towards the yeah, back. Yeah, it's in the towards the back. That's what I was going to. You don't have any room in the back of this. I got kids' car seats back there and stuff. I might be able to just throw it on top of there. Carry it with whatever you add. Yeah, to it'll, it's it'll rip. In the middle. Okay. That's why I didn't fill it to the top. So this guy have like a card store or something that these are all organized like this? He's a big quarter collector of all kinds of other things too. I actually got them second hand. Uh, a guy that knows that I'll buy them off of him got them. Uh -huh. And then he sold them to me. Uh, he said that he was there. The guy had Matchbox cars and like uh, Star Wars. All kinds of different like collectible things. And he wanted the cards out of there so he could do something with Yeah. But he told him there was nothing crazy in there. As far as like big Yeah, that's a lot of man hours to sort out 140,000 cards. I guess like an actual collector that's maybe retired or something. You know, I just my time gets devoted to something. I got to make money from it or something. Yeah. I can't put time into something I'm not making money. Sorted. One guy was all alphabetical. Order a lot of food bags. Doing this with you? Yeah. Do they? When I saw the the one video, I think it was the one that you got for me like the first time. Yeah, my daughter. My daughter she likes it. Swords. Yeah, I know. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. These are mostly sets, except for like the stars out of them. Yeah, Griffey's probably missing. Yeah, a couple of uh, Johnson, Vigia. Thank you. 
Mike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Okay. Alright, you said one, what was it, one? Hundred forty thousand one sixty. Twenty forty sixty. Alright. Twenty forty sixty. YouTube, which I have about four hundred subscribers now, so I'm a little over uh, ten percent on what you got. <laughs> uh, um, so that's uh, Brickus Breaks on there. Okay. Uh, cool. But all right. Well, let me know if you edit right, this one, and then good. I'll um. Yeah. How much Bowman Chrome you got? Um, right now I have one hobby and four boxes of HTA, but I'm going to try, the, I guess the reorder period is, what is it, like Monday or something like that? When's I, it come out, next week? I think it's the 11th. I so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to request like 10 hobby cases. I enjoy it. Bowman Chrome is my favorite to break, even though it has a ton of backs. It's just exciting. Yeah. You know, it's always like clean and, and you, you know, it's like, there's like prospects that are going to go up and all that. It's, it's a fun one to do. But, um, yeah, it's definitely one of the best ones of the year. Yeah. So. Alright, well, let me know about that, and um, I'll, uh, I'll work on getting some packages together for you this weekend. And get okay, alright, um, sounds good. Alright, thanks Bye. a lot. Thanks, yep, we'll see you later. All right, everybody, 140,000 cards is a ridiculous amount of cards, and there's no possible way that I'm going to be able to go through all of them in this video. So I figured I'd take a box, or maybe two, and go through and show you a sampling of what we have in here. Now you saw these are all put into team bags, so there's about 30 Dwayne Ward cards here and here and Tim Wallet cards there. This guy, um, the original owner of these cards, obviously had a lot of time had a lot of time on his hands and team bagged all of these together and they were in alphabetical order. Even guys like Eddie Gallard and Butch Garcia who have very few cards out there have their own team bags. I literally don't know how he had the time and space to do all this, but uh, pretty awesome that these are organized by players. So if you have a favorite player like Greg Gagne, for example, uh, he's got his own team bags here, Ron Gardenhire. Looks like most of these cards are from the Junk Wax era. Uh, maybe some from, there's Jerome Walton. He was a hot card back in the day. That 90 Leaf card is pretty nice. As you saw, John Wathen is in there. There's Turner Ward. But I see some so far from the early 80s 81 there might be some from the 70s but most of these are likely from the junk wax era uh here's some 1953 tops archives which are pretty cool looks like those are pretty much all the same cards there's probably like four or five each of those in there i'm mostly looking for the thicker packs those are probably going to be your better players uh the more thicker packs because those players obviously have uh, multiple cards over multiple years, Alex Gonzalez. I don't know if there are going to be any Hall of Famers in here. There might be some semi-stars. There's a nice 1979 Kiko Garcia, 1980 Wayne Garland. So some older stuff in here, but I don't know what to do with these. I think most of these would be good for TTMs through the mail. You could take these and um, send them off to players. And uh, hopefully they sign and send them back to his Bob Welch, former Cy Young Award winner. He was a good pitcher back in the day. And then we have some guys like Jim Weaver that didn't have too many cards. Uh, what else we got? Eric Wedge. So most of these are the W's. Like he said, a lot of these, looks like these slipped out of their team bags. Tom Gordon. A lot of these were in order alphabetically. And... Uh, Obviously, I'm messing that up a little bit now going through these like this. Lots of Dwayne Ward um, packages in here, team bags. Paul Wagner. Be nice to find like a Larry Walker team bag in here somewhere. Would not mind that. Or there's Jim Gott, former Buckos closer. Now he is a, I believe he's a bullpen coach with the Phillies, but he was pretty good back in the day. Walt Weiss, pretty decent. So what I'll probably do with these, I, I really have no idea what the heck to do with all these. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up these priority flat rate boxes with uh, as many cards as I could possibly fit in there. And then send them off. Um, I don't know if I want to sell them on eBay or if I just want to auction them off um, to you guys. I'm starting to do, uh, at least trying out an auction tomorrow, Monday night. We might call it Monday night auctions. Um, might be a regular series here if it goes well, but I have so much stuff that I want to try to start moving some of it along just because it's kind of like taking over my entire house. Um, if 
from this room, my office, to my dining room, to our reading room, to our garage, to our kitchen, there's cards everywhere. In fact, I don't think there's a room in the house where there isn't cards right now. Even um, Carlos Garcia, former uh, Pirates All-Star there back in 94. I don't know. I guess the uh, only place without cards would be like the bathroom. Some Ted Wood cards. Mark Wooler's coming up, rated rookie. Maybe there'll be some Billy Wagner's in here. Billy Wagner. Not a Hall of Famer, but he is on the ballot. Sorry if oh, these are not in team bags. That's kind of dumb. But it's like a million Ron Gant cards. So about, I don't know, 400 Ron Gant cards. Just maybe they were in a box for something. I'll have to, uh, I don't know, do something with those. Either team bag them up or just throw them in a 300 count box. Also, Tom Gordon. A million of his cards. What else do we have? Uh, some more. We got some G's in here. So it's G's and W's. Tim Garland, Victor Garcia, some minor leaguers. And these um, these cards, I didn't really care too much about. The Sporting News cards, I always consider all those to be commons, even though some of them were some nice Hall of Famers and stuff. There's Walker, but that's not the Walker we're looking for. That's Todd Walker, Craig Worthington. And let's see what else we've got in here. So you get a good idea of what's in here, um, mostly from the Junk Wax era. Probably won't go through too many more of these boxes in this video just because um, it might be a little boring to see all these um, commons, basically. I mean, some of them were okay. Like, some of these guys made all-star teams. Some of them were good players. Some of them had nice, long careers. Some of them are now managers. But overall, it's mo tons of Bob Welch cards. We probably have, like, 300 Bob Welch cards in here. And 140,000. This is just one small box. There's 5,000 cards in here. Um, so, there's good old Turk Wendell. So, this is only, <laughs> this is like 2% of what I have out in the garage right now. And like I said, I definitely want to move these along. So, that's pretty much what's in this box. I'm going to take the rest of these and just kind of box them back up. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go grab another box or so. All right, I brought in one more box. This one has way more, probably about 20,000 or so cards in here. I forgot to look on the side of the box to see exactly the grand total, but uh, you can see this one appears to have a lot of the Bs, Ps, I guess everything. It's not really an alphabetic order anymore, I don't think. But there's a ton in here for sure. And um, once again, sorry about that, I have my kind of like a rigged up setup here where I have my phone on a cardboard box facing down into the um, box. There's Terry Pendleton, 1991 NL MVP. Again, there's lots of stars in here, but no no one like uh, super, super good or valuable, it looks like. Uh, Terry Pendleton, of course. I always considered him a common, even though he won that MVP. I always thought that Barry Bonds should have been the MVP back in 1991, but that's just because... I grew up a Pirates fan, of course. Hubie Brooks, Ken Williams, and uh, Ken Williams went on after his playing career to be a GM. Got all these old ones here. I know some people like those older ones. Jose De Jesus, Tim Leary. I see a George Bell in there. Alan Anderson, a bunch of his. Larry Anderson, so that's the A's. George Bell, formerly known as Jorge Bell. Al Padrique. And uh, Dave Bergman, some more Dave Bergman cards, some more, uh, it's like tons of George Bell cards. I wonder if these are, I guess they're all different. There's 86 tops on the back, 94 fun pack. So if you're wondering, okay, well, what kind of cards are inside here? Let's check them out. You might be wondering that. I see some 90 Donruss in there. We've got Looks like this guy liked his 90 Leaf, which is cool. Also, looks like he was collecting in the mid 80s because there's 86 cards in here, 87, some 89. Some 92 triple play. Looks like he was a big fan of 92 triple play. And also 90 Donruss. There's some 92, 91 upper deck. Good old 91 Fleer. And some Tops Gold from 92 Tops. So not too bad there. Nice range of uh, pretty much lots of different years from the Junk Wax era. This gives you a nice little collection of each player, I guess. I think the newest card I've seen so far is maybe, uh, I don't know, 
mid-90s card. I see a 95 card right here of Todd Williams sitting right there. Chris Brown, Jeff Brantley, Rico Bronya, Jeff uh, Brantley. Oh, there's 2007. I forgot there's some 2007s in there. Boop Bonzer. So I guess there's some newer cards, but not as many as the Junk Wax guys, of course. Derek May. Keith Hernandez. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they have any older Keith Hernandez cards in there from like the uh, late 70s. That'd be pretty sick if there was just like a 1975 Tops Keith Hernandez just hanging out in here. Um, I'm interested now. Let's, let's double check. There's 90 Leaf. Like I said, this guy liked his 90 Leaf. And how about that one? We do have a nice old Keith Hernandez card from 1976. This is a Keith Hernandez second year card. That's pretty nice. So now I'm going to be curious to look for the, uh, like if we have an older player that had a nice career like Keith Hernandez did. I'll, I'll be interested to go through and look because you see there's an 83 in there, 83 tops. 1980 tops, a couple of those, and they're in good shape too. This guy definitely took care of his cards because they have nice corners. They're not banged up. So whoever owned this collection, I mean, if, you, if you're that um, obsessive-compulsive to organize 140,000 cards by player, even commons, you definitely took the time to uh, care for your cards. Where's the other Keith Hernandez back? I want to see if there's another one in there. So we got a 1976, a second-year card. Now there's an 85 tops, lots of 85 tops, the record breakers, there's 90, we'll just skip that. Nice old Fleer from 1981, the first ever Fleer year. Another 1980 tops card, a bunch of those, 85 Don Russ. And again, they're in nice shape, so when I first bought this collection, I was kind of regretting it immediately. I was like, what the heck am I going to do with all these cards? There's really nothing that I can think of, like... Am I going to like send Mike Blowers like, I don't know, a hundred of his cards here and see if he'll sign them all? Obviously not. Like, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, I don't know, I'll probably just, like I said, toss them into flat rate boxes and, and sell them off that way. And um, who knows, there's Jonathan Broxton. Kind of a recent player right there. I, I really don't even know where to go. I don't know if I want to continue to dig down through this box or not. If you could find one more older player like Keith Hernandez to go back and pull out their cards from the 70s would be nice. I guess I could have done that with Bob Welch since, um, you know, he was around back in the late 70s. Mike Sweeney, a bunch of his cards. All right, so I've got a lot of uh, work to do on this collection. I think I'm going to cut this video right here because otherwise, like, this video could literally be... Um, sometimes I talk about maybe doing a 24-hour live stream. Well, this could definitely be a 24-hour live stream, just me going through all of these team bags and all these cards because there's so many to go through. Right now I have over 400,000 unsearched collections, boxes of cards out in my garage that I've never had the chance to go through whatsoever. And um, that would literally take 24 hours and then some. So I'm going to cut this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, tomorrow night we're going to try out auctions on the channel. Make sure you come on by and check those out. I got a lot of uh, cards that I've been picking up at flea markets and card shows and card stores over the past year that I'm going to put up for sale if you'd like to purchase those. And uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you aboard. We do videos every single night. And uh, usually it revolves around baseball and baseball cards. So glad to have you if you're new and happy to have you if you already have subscribed and have stuck around. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all tomorrow.